is today we're going to prove that an area of a circle is pi r square using <coughs> polar coordinates so let's let's draw a sketch first so here is my circle and uh, we're going to assume that the radius of this circle is r and um, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to cut this circle into small small sectors with all these radiuses R. These sectors are, are so small that this arc length here, this arc is almost a straight line. Let me enlarge this shape. So here is my sector with radius r. And the angle here is, is d theta. And as I mentioned earlier, these sectors are very small. So this arc is almost a straight line. We can use the rule to work out arc length, which is equal to angle multiplied by the radius, so which is d theta multiplied by radius. Also, as you know, all this length in the middle is also is also r, so this is also r because of the property of the circle so we can conclude from here that that the height of this triangle is r and the base of this triangle is r times d theta so we have to consider that this is a almost a straight line to work out the area of all these sectors, we can now say that the area of this triangle formed is half time base time height. Because the area is very small, so I can call it as a DA. We can also say now DA is equal to half time r square d theta. I have to now add all these areas, all these area of these sectors to form a big circle. So I can instead integrate this given area from 0 to 2 pi. So as you know this angle here, the starting angle is 0 degrees and when I move it anti-clockwise and we come back to this point it is 2 pi radians so we're integrating uh, from 0 to 2 pi so area integration da integration to a half r square is a constant value so it can be written outside the integration sign all i'm left is now integration of d theta So the integration of d theta is theta, but we still have to use the limits. Now let's use the limit. So we can say now area is equal to half r squared. We we'll substitute the top limit first, take away the bottom limit which simplifies further to area is equal to half times r squared 2 pi. We can cancel 2 and 2 and we are left with now area is equal to r squared and pi. So all we can write is that of pi r squared and that is the area of a circle.
Friends, good. If you followed this video, please don't forget to sub hit subscribe button. Thank you.